else coming along. Can't you see? I'm all finished, but you should know what I found. I'm sure it's very interesting. She just doesn't care. But unless it's really important, what? I've got other things it's, it's to It's pretty important. About. All she could have just said was, I found the attic. And she's like, oh, things, wonderful. There's a dumbwaiter in the hallway that's not working. So you need to fix the dumbwaiter. <laughs> so you know there's a, some guy in your basement. He's your How handyman. You know Lewis? <laughs> what? There's a guy in my basement? Yeah, I bet you hired him. Fuck no, I didn't. about our property. But he's an antique dealer specializing handyman. in the Victorian period. <laughs> you mean I'm not the only one in the house? <laughs> <laughs> never, never There's other the room. people here? Everyone's uh, gone so often and just does their accidents? own thing that I wouldn't, it wouldn't even surprise me. But just poor sure. communication. I really trust in him, and I'm willing Everybody to thinks it's haunted, but really it's just everyone else in <laughs> the house. did Abby buy the house with you? Oh, so that's who that was. <laughs> he told me he just moved here from Iowa, but doesn't have a place of his own yet. He said he's staying with friends. So no I one knows where Charlie's visit. living. He go. keeps telling Thanks people different help. stories. He's living downstairs. Under the fireplace. Ooh. That plant's poorly animated. Is it? <laughs> Look at it. Everything else is 3D and that plant just looks like uh, somebody slapped paint on it. Well, okay, so she told you to fix the dumbwaiter in the hallway outside the door. So you can do that now if you want. I've got uh, one more tile for the fireplace. Wherever that was, I don't even remember where it was. Is it downstairs? No. Well, yeah, it's in the library. I gotta go talk to this fool anyway. You can try calling your friends too, because you actually do need their help in this game. Any ideas? George Fane. <laughs> Any ideas? George Fane, 2012. 2014, I guess. You've looked at this like four times. But it's good to know it's here. It's good to know it's here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well said. You just gotta check on it every time. <laughs> it comforts me. Oh, uh, God. If a fire breaks out, I'll be the most prepared okay, person in the house. Okay, good to know. Uh. It won't fit. It won't fit. You need to find another tile. <laughs> the key won't fit. Is Lewis here yet? No, it's too early. Too early? It's noon. Uh, <laughs> oh, good you, call. You probably leave and come back in and he'll be there. He'll somehow have materialized in the room. It's high. Walk back in there and see if he's there. I bet he is. He somehow <laughs> slipped behind you while you were... No, no, I guess not. He's late. He's late. Late to his job. Fire. Can this guy. What's he even doing here? <laughs> Good for nothing. So you can call people if you want. Or you can try and fix that elevator. I want to try and figure out where he's living. You can't right now. Was it Was it up here? Or was it downstairs? It was the Should downstairs be. one. Oh, okay. The one in the hallway down there. Ugh. Navigation. There we go. No? Back away. Uh, Alright. Can you imagine somebody watching her walk around this room? Uh, <laughs> just zigzagging all over the place. It's right there. What's so broken about it? Oh. Wires cut. There you go. Fix that right up. Wow, that was just a shot in so the dark. So now, yeah, you might want to check the one upstairs, because... You pulled the elevator down to its level. Excellent. Screw the servants, Holly. Downstairs I can actually maneuver. Up here I'm pretty much lost. It's in this hallway. Well then. Fishy. Indeed. Just a severed head. He's got some old shit in here. He got dragon eye pottery. I need that symbol, don't I? You do, but I'll write it down after. Okay. Got the other tile here. Is it a mason jar? That's all I really need. I think. Yeah. So now you can complete the fireplace.
And while I'm in there, maybe that... Yeah, Lou, I should probably be back by now. Oh, it took me half an hour to do that. Time flies. Yeah, apparently. Time really flies. What? Oh. The it's phoenix. Just, it's the crest on the floor. Damn it, if you click on that fire extinguisher one more time. I need to know what's there. What do I win? Wow. It's anticlimactic. You missed it. Did I? Yeah. Check the feet the hands on the fireplace. No. These things. I should wait until I'm alone. Oh, I guess Lewis is in here. So you can't open it up while he's in the room. Because you'll tip him off that there's a secret passage in this room. Dun 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 dun. -a. Hello, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I just watched you fix that fireplace over there. I was wondering <laughs> whether you knew anything about. So I know you're late for work, you piece of crap. E. Valdez. No, I've never heard of that name. But I'll jot it down and let He's you know. He's never heard of anyone named E. Valdez. He's just living in his own world over here, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he really is. What kind of antique store do you own? It's a gallery, not a store. And it's called Chandler Interiors. Specializing in the Victorian period. Specializing in a ton of butts. Over the world, and if Seen I don't have butts? what they're looking for, yeah. I find it. God, that tie is disgusting. Look at all these questions that I have for this yeah, there's a lot stupid talking. individual. Was this house once a hotel? That's hard to say. I thought you were supposed to be a historian Except or something. Except we figured it out, but like, yeah. Of its original features, such as the saloon and staircase, seem to indicate that it may have been a hotel. Unfortunately, there are no records on this Except for the ones that I found all over the house. Like, have you even looked? Have you no, looked? No, he hasn't left Have you library. looked around? Do you know who even the library, there should be Frick, enough in Frick, isn't he here. lying to yeah, us? Because it wasn't on his laptop where we found out that it was the, the Golden Gardenia? Yeah, it, yeah, it was Yeah, okay, so there. he's a piece of shit and lying to us. all of her money to the Ladies' Protection Society. But for what reason? I have I have no idea what reason. What does it matter to him yeah, if this place I, was a hotel I, I, or not? the Ladies' Protection Society. A popular charity in the early 1900s. They helped widows and orphans. They helped... Rich white man. <laughs> Get rich. <laughs> They're the real oh, people that, that need the one. help. Yes, it's just some cheap Chinatown souvenir. What did you ask about? I have um, I don't remember. Do you know what a phoenix is? Yes, it's a mythical bird-like creature that builds a Must nest every 500 years and then sets itself on fire to rise forth, reborn from its ashes. It's a very popular symbol in the Bay Area. In fact, there's one on the main staircase. Good. Like an actual one? I think Charlie's doing a good job. Why does someone have to take a shower a now? Because. Certainly. He's rough around the edges, but he's reliable and learns very quickly. That's exactly he's what he just said. What Rose and I need. So he's on board with Charlie. He likes them. What am I now? Taking a survey to see whether or not Charlie should be fired? <laughs> I'm sure she played some roles where Apparently she had to dress as a man. <laughs> but she was quite oh, oh, an elegant oh, oh. woman. That was actually me. For her time. <laughs> Men's clothing? You mean like my awesome anything. business Goodbye. suit? Surely not. <laughs> <laughs> can I just go to sleep until that fireplace opens up? You can if you want. But not a whole Again, lot. though, you might want to use that phone at some point during the mystery. Oh. I don't remember where it is. Was it's it in, in that room I just walked out of? Is this the parlor? Yeah. Where are you? Because you, you do actually need to call people in this game to progress it. Might as well just call everybody to see what's going on. This, this is going to be a heavy talking episode. Excellent. Who's at home? Is it Ned? Hannah. Did Ned move in? No, he did not. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. He never moves in. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Oh. Hi, Hannah. Nancy, Nancy. How are you? And how's Rose? Rose is dead. 
<laughs> I've killed her. <laughs> I got here and she had a heart attack. I bludgeoned her with an iron. Beautiful. I'm so happy you're out there. But I'm worried about all the accidents she's having. There's just been so many. What has Rose said about them? She doesn't say much, but I know they've become worse and worse. That's one of the Can't reasons really top why I asked you to collapse visit her to see if everything is all right. Mm -hmm. Especially when it doesn't kill anyone. Do you suspect there's something <laughs> those vandalized shrubs? <laughs> you can't top those accidents. Rose is under a lot of pressure to open <laughs> People are in danger. What's causing these accidents? A bunch, of, a bunch of kids in the neighborhood. I saw Oval pissing some bushes outside. <laughs> We're all in trouble. I imagine the mansion was very expensive. Rose spent her entire life savings on the house. If this doesn't work out. Jeez. She won't have 30 more years. To well, you know what? A risk. <laughs> yeah, at least she'll have a place to well, live. I let you get back to your renovation work. Thank you for calling. There's probably no reason for concern. But be on the lookout for anything unusual. Goodbye, dear. For anything that looks like a boob. Look out for anything unusual, like ghosts walking around. <laughs> Look out for anything unusual, like Lewis Chandler's tie. No. I might have dialed wrong. Yep. Back, back out. Up. Back out. <laughs> abort, abort. Abort mission. Ah, the Nancy Drew games, where a phone call is a tense situation. What the- <laughs> <laughs> He just hung up again. That last number is a doozy, I tell you. Can ya. you operate phones? Not these. The last time the game froze. Can't blame me for that. No. And I wasn't sure if I clicked once or twice. Uh, just in mid-dial, hang up, change your mind. Hello? Hi, Bess. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. George is here. Let me put her on the speakerphone. Nancy? Hi, George. It's pretty clear hey, speakerphone. I'm Nancy. in San Francisco, helping a friend of Hannah's renovate an old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Unfortunately, bed some and breakfast? strange accidents have delayed the project. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, get this. Uh -oh. One of the owners, Abby, mm. thinks the place is haunted by a ghost named Valdez. A ghost? Well, I'm glad I'm not out there. Sounds like another case is in the works. <laughs> Does it? So, tell us more about what's been going on. Do you know anything about the house's history? I met the resident handyman, Charlie. He's pretty young, and I don't think he has much experience. Yeah, well, that's a nice, boring topic Maybe to bring up. Maybe he doesn't up. charge very much. So he's probably a good bargain for Rose. Or maybe he's just cute. Bess, is that all you can think about? No. <laughs> yeah, again, don't Ugh. talk. It's kind of annoying. Rose is really lucky. This Why does everyone think Rose is lucky? Because Lewis is in there doing nothing. <laughs> Rose is really lucky. She's what is he doing for the house? Pan out. That makes sense. Don't if the house was like, what is he doing there? Sick, what does he do for Rose? She co he comes in there and he's like, but oh, I'm going to find out more about this about house. And then proceeds to sit there and do things. nothing all day. I'm sure he knows a lot about old stuff. I hope he's not, she's it's not paying him because he's useless. How could the records be destroyed in an earthquake if the house is still standing? Are they like falling into cups of water or what? <laughs> I don't know. Where are they going? <laughs> it's an earthquake, not a fire. Abby hosted a seance. And contacted the oh, they're on the floor. The house. She, sweep them she up contacted them the white cassette tape that was in the yeah, machine. Right. Is what she I'm did. I'm sure it was <laughs> some kind of trick. Abby sounds suspicious. Does she? Yeah, maybe she's hiding something. She probably knows more about the house than she's, she's hiding admitted. a third breast. <laughs> like what? It's like just step in. It's like actually, guys, I found out she's a complete fake. <laughs> Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. We'll be more than happy to help. But it might be more fun to figure it out on your own. I do. Screw I'm you. I'm clueless. What do you think, Bess? Nope. I'm stumped. Give us a call wow, later. Wow, it'd be really a lot more fun to find that out later. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? I should get going. Um, Talk to you later. No Bye, idea. Nancy. Bye. Uh, call Emily. Huh. I have Emily. This is the only game she shows up in. She's an old family friend. She's she's not long distance. But otherwise, no. She's a prick. She's a prick. <laughs> I, I actually don't know. This is Emily. Hi, Emily. It's Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew? <laughs> I haven't heard from you in How does she ages. have her phone number? <laughs> Nancy Drew? You're not in San Wait, Francisco, who? <laughs> who is this? <laughs> I haven't heard from you in like 25 years. <laughs> I'm only 18. Exactly. Actually, I am. 
I'm helping one of <laughs> Hannah's friends, Rose Green, renovate this wonderful old Victorian mansion. She wants to open up a bed and breakfast. Well, that's terrific. Mm. I Seems wish I knew who you were. These days. <laughs> I'll bet you're staying in the Haight Ashbury district. Why is that relevant information? I'm who cares? Sure. The place Hang on, I'm on my way. I'm gonna come check it out. The Haight Ashbury district. Three, I think, is the number. You know, you're lucky you caught me at home. I've been traveling most of these days, but after that crazy tour of Egypt. By Ooh, the way, too soon. Riding a camel is not Ooh. as easy as it looks. My <laughs> editor gave me an assignment right here in town. It'll be on the dragons of San Francisco. Oh, that sounded whimsical. I hope you won't be riding them. What were you doing in Egypt? Didn't you just explain? Oh, you know, the usual. Pyramids, bazaars, the Sphinx. But what are you up to, Nancy? Why'd you call? Again. Is there anything I can help you out with? Yeah, actually, there's no real reason why. No, he the just called it for system. <laughs> I seem to come across a lot of Chinese symbols. Oh, it doesn't surprise me. The Chinese have been an important part of San Francisco history for over a hundred years. The symbols are called Hanzi, and each one represents a particular thing, or an idea, or an action. I wonder if there's one you for your them fuck yourself. On business cards, just a middle finger cartons, sticking up. Artwork. <laughs> That's what the symbol is. Just a middle finger. Just a middle finger. I found some old papers in the house. It's like two lines, and then in the middle of them, just one long dash. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I don't understand why she's valuable. telling her all this. It's hard to find old documents like that before 1906. Have you ever heard of the Ladies Protection Society? No. No, but so, it is this a reliable like source? The century charity. There were all these private agencies Ugh. that helped out widows and orphans before the government took on that role. Wow, I heard that exact same thing from somebody in the next room. <laughs> I bet Lewis is listening into this. <laughs> yeah, it's like you bet she just asked me all that. <laughs> 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 asking you something. <laughs> He's just like listening, oh, what does she think about me? And then you like, you say something bad about Lewis, and he's like, I heard that! She freaking yells from the other room. Yeah. What? You're a tall young lady. She was a good friend of Lana Crabtree, another popular actress in the late 1800s. Crabtree? As I recall, she opened up a big hotel. What was it called? The Hotel Mandrake or the Oriole? I have a feeling it was the Golden Gardenia. I have a feeling it was the Mandrake. The Mandrake. From Harry Potter. Was just it an ugly yeah. purple plant. Is it still around? Oh no! This oh no! The mandrakes are those things that scream big, a lot, aren't they? I don't They're remember. They're those humanoid plant things that like just yell. Have you ever I remember the name from somewhere. What a pleasant name for a hotel. No, but I've read the that screaming many houses were only partially yeah. rebuilt after the great earthquake, closing off damaged rooms from the rest of the house. So yeah. Do you know anything about Valdez? Think so. <laughs> That's a pretty vague Goodbye, question. Emily. You know Goodbye, anything Nancy. about Valdez? <laughs> Which, what? Which Valdez are we talking about here? I'm sure there's more than one person in the world called Valdez. There's anyone named Valdez. <laughs> yeah, the janitor of my office. Oh, uh, I, I was kind of thinking the one connected to this mansion. Oh, well, you should have said so, then no. Jesus, I just walked away from the phone. <laughs> oh, fucking asshole. He just, that was Lewis in the next room waiting for you to leave. I bet it was. <laughs> Lewis, did you just call me? He's like, no. Oh. Well, the phone's still in his hand. <laughs> yeah, screw Hello, you. Hello, Nancy. I won't keep you any longer. It's not there, like you're doing anything There's important. us ruining your time. <laughs> Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for leaving me the hell alone. <laughs> God. What there, a piece of crap. Who's us wasting your time with this? <laughs> You're done working in hours. Go home. Alright, so I'm going to bed. Creek. 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 Lots of creaky boards. Creek. We meet again, ladder. <laughs> Every time. I'll do the only logical thing and set my alarm for 8 o'clock p.m. Sure. What if I just had a nice half hour now? So you're up all night. Slept until 8. 10. 10. 
woke up till three. Woke up, woke up two and slept for another like six hours. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to investigate that library. If I find a flashlight. Mm hmm. What's your penis? A micro penis. Yes. Okay, let's open up that secret passageway. And then Lewis just burst into the room. Ha! I knew it! From outside. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's like just sleeping on the couch in the parlor. You missed him. That opens up the door, but there's stuff to look at. So that's a symbol child. for child. Listen, my child, to this story of dreams. Terrific. I like the caption, it just says child. Yeah, it's just child. So now you get a lantern. What the? It's a nice people in the picture above the fireplace. Donna. Somebody's outside looking at you. <laughs> just right in the eye sockets. You gotta close up the thing first. Okay. No, like, slide it back. There, oh, okay, there we go. Anything else in here? Uh, turn around? I can't. No, I... Alright. Alright. So, now you got a lantern, so... What are you gonna do that? Well, I don't have any fire for it. I don't think it matters. I think you can use it. Game, a... game logic, yeah, it's just a burnout lantern. But I'm pretty sure you can use it. I'll probably take off here after I explore a little bit down there. Okay, it doesn't take long. What time is it? Uh, it's getting pretty late. I'll text them and see if they want to come over for brawl at like 11. Okay. It's stuck. Like I pried it up already. Take that it's in so there. dark in here. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So avoid that hole in the ground. That's what you fell into. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so... Did I, did I miss something? No, no. That's where you're supposed to go. So this is where Charlie has been living. Living? Yeah. Where He's is he now? Investigative stuff. I don't know. It makes no sense. Because, yeah, it's like he left the building, but it's like 9 at night. He just lives back here? He lives back here. That's how we knew the seance was going on, because it's a one way here. So that's the symbol for the king. king of the sky will shine his ray. We're probably, I think we've got about half the symbols now. We're actually got a lot further in it than I thought. You can take that. It's just, it, this game seems like it's a lot of just odd things that you'd pick up. And then I think you can end. actually get through this one pretty quick if you know what you're doing. Dear Mom and Dad, sorry I haven't written in a while. Things have really been busy. I'm working now, fixing up an old house. I'm learning a lot, and I'm very proud of the work I'm doing. Still in between places. In between places. Dun dun dun. So I'll let you know when my address, is, what my address is, once I settle down. So he's just living back here. I think you click on that book too. Ah, oh, damn it. In the back. This, well, yeah, that too. El Diablo. Not much is known about this mass bandit who plagued the Domingo Baca Trail between 1875 and 1880. Except for his trademark black outfit and mask, many legends associate him with the Great Christmas Robbery. But contemporary historians now believe the robbery was fabricated by the Stagecoast Company since the treasure has never been found. So, you can look at that book, I think, too. No, not that one. The same book. Not that one. This one right here. Possibly no. No, it doesn't okay. look like it. Well, no. no. Okay. Alright. Anything Never else? Mind, then. My bad. No, I don't think so. Bottle of water? Toothpaste? Where is he spitting the toothpaste? I don't know. Oh, is that something on the stairs there? Yeah, it was. A mousetrap. Is it a mousetrap? And there's garbage in the corner? What a loser. Okay. <laughs> you just go up. 
What a disgusting individual. He just lives back here. He but lives for among some the odd mice. reason isn't here right now. I don't know. He went to the bathroom. So yeah, and you come out in the hallway. If anybody cared, that, I mean, they wouldn't like see him leave the house. He would just like <laughs> he would just come in and just never leave. I don't know. Where yeah. did I come out? Some piece of the wall in this hallway. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So anyway, do you want to stop it here? Yeah, it's a good place because I think I just gotta go back to bed again. So save it. On the sloppy desk. I'm gonna go read the term paper first. Yeah, okay, you can do that. Shove that term paper in Lewis's laptop. Shove it somewhere. What's so his, uh... Lewis Chandler. No, like Lewis, like L-O-U-I-S. I don't think there's a space in between it. Actually, his login name, I think it's just Lewis. Lewis? Yeah, I think it's just Lewis. Like, how would anybody know that? What's his password? Antiques? Antiques, yeah. Original. Oh, nice. I don't think you put it in the floppy disk in the first place. You need to put it in oh, the computer before it. you log in. Before I log in, too. Yeah. Click on the floppy disk. I need a disk. There. You put it in. <laughs> Did I? Yeah. We're just assuming It's not now? in your inventory anymore, so you put it in. Password and tweaks. Okay. Lewis Chandler, welcome. Let's read up on good old Charlie's term paper. Probably not good at all. Fact from fi fiction: The Great Christmas Gold Robbery by Charlie Murphy. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> that's his name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Murphy. Uh, maybe he's he's Eddie's nephew. <laughs> he is frick. He yeah, he's running with the Rick date, James. The term paper objective: valuation of stolen gold. The best sources: robbery ranges from 150. We'll go back here. Robbery value ranges from 15,000 to 250,000 gold coins. Formula for competing value. Participants, El Diablo showed up. Purple Pete, Wild Obadiah, Crazy Jane. Wild Remember? Obadiah. <laughs> Sounds like a great guy. It's Diego Valdez. So it's possible that the owner of this house took part in the robbery. It was possible he could have been an outlaw. Excellent. Location of the stolen gold. Western Mutual Bank Fraud. Applegate Connection. Valdez Family Ranch. Applegate Connection. Bandits Treasure. So do you know what's hidden in this house now? Probably treasure. Yeah. The that's, gold that's from probably this... Why, that's probably why Charlie's here too. The gold from this robbery is hidden in the house. Click on the... And thing. just for the record, Charlie Murphy's Eddie's brother, I think. Is he? He is. Uh, I don't know about this thing. guy, but Charlie Murphy. So yeah, there you go. Perfect. So you now know what we're looking for, treasure in the house.